Hey everybody, I'm the Frosty Four, and welcome back to Back to the Future Episode 5. I'm trying to figure out how to get out of here because I saw old Doc chloroform and drag away young Doc, which is a really confusing thing to say. But I'm trying to figure out how to get out of this fucking maze. Oh. I just didn't get close enough. Damn it. I spent way too much time now, Doc? fucking with those doors. Greetings again, mortals! This is Techni, Muse of Progress. Hoping you're all having a swell time taking in all the exhibits. Don't forget, you can purchase tickets to our main attractions right here at the information booth. Oh yeah. Good thing I got free ones. Oh, shit. Okay, so I have to find him and get him back by the time his name comes up. Okay, so now what am I supposed to do? So I saw him drag him away, but where did he take him? Let's see if she knows anything. Hi, Trixie. Now what can I do you for? Did Emmett come through here with Carl Sagan? Sorry. Shit. Thanks. Um, fuck. I was kind of hoping that she'd be like, Ah, oh, yeah, he went over there. What about you, Mr. Fucking Jacques Cousteau? Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a tall, thin, older gentleman. He might have been with a tall, thin, younger gentleman. I know just who you're talking about. Hey, just left about a minute ago. If you hurry, you might catch that. That sounded like fucking Doc. Take off your helmet. I prefer to leave it on. The inland air is difficult on my sinuses. Hmm. I know you're in there, Doc. Doc? Yes, I am a doctor of marine biology, but I fail to understand what you're... Quit fooling around, Doc. What have you done with them? Stop! Emmy? Help! I'm being attacked! Michael! What are you doing? You can't assault the exhibitors. You don't understand. He's kidnapped Emmett. The boys obviously are confusing. I'll say he is. You want I should toss him out on his ear? That won't be necessary. Do you know who that is? That's Jock Duteau of the Oceanic Institute. No, it's not. It's... Please keep it down. The expo went through a lot of trouble and expense to secure Professor Duteau. We can't afford to antagonize him. But if you've got a complaint against him, we can straighten it out after the show. But if you make another scene like that, I'm afraid I'm going to have you expelled from the hall. What'd they do with the real guy? Because there's no mistake in him. Professor Duto, huh? At your service. Hmm. Where'd you stash Emmett? In the diving bell? It's called a bathosphere. Aha! So Emmett is in the bathosphere. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. I think I'm going to take a closer look at that bathosphere. Reminds me of, uh... Not without it, Bioshock. Idiot. I'm afraid, uh, sir. Hey! Is this guy trying to bum a free ride? No, I have no. tickets. See that you don't. I got you tickets. Good to be on the right side of the law. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Patrick. You're not going to get away with this, you know. As they say in my country, que sera, sera. Mm. What? Isn't he supposed to be French and he's already speaking fucking Spanish? Listen, you little shit. Get your... Here's my ticket. I want to see inside that bathosphere. I don't think so. What do you mean? I've got a ticket. You have to honor my ticket. It's uh, uh, the, the wrong kind of ticket. Sorry. Oh, give me a break. Huh. How am I gonna get in there? What's this guy Algae doing? Cakes! Miracle food from the swamp lid! Get no way, dude, they'll turn my cakes! fucking teeth green. Wait a second. Maybe he knows something algae I don't. Algae cakes! How about an algae cake? Sure thing, mister. Wait a minute. You're the guy that makes the algae cakes? What? I thought you couldn't stand them. Hey! You're the guy that tried to pick up on my Eunice! Oh, for the love of... No algae cakes for you, buster! 
So I have to figure out where the fuck that real French guy is. If I was a French guy... Well, that's not really fair because he was kidnapped. Hmm. How am I gonna get in there? What about you? Can you help me get in the fucking bathosphere? Hey, Artie. This ticket should get me into any exhibit on the floor, right? Sure. That's a pee ticket. Well, the guy at the aquarium is refusing to honor it. Hmm. There must be some mistake. Come on, let's straighten this out. Good. Professor Duteau, this young man claims you refused to take his ticket. Not at all. I'm only too happy to take his ticket. Please, climb the ladder, and I will raise the bathroom sphere. Is he gonna drown me? What are you gonna do, boo? Mon dieu! What is the matter? The gears, uh, they must have become stuck. I am afraid I cannot raise the bathosphere at this moment. What a shame. Yes, it is, it is, it is. Well, I feel like Dracula. On that problem. Perhaps if you come back later. Come down, please. The bathosphere. Is there anything I can do up here? Currently closed. Step back! You're gripping the hose. What does that do? What does it matter if there's nobody in the bathosphere? It's very bad form. Oh, sorry. Next up on our roster, a man who saw the possibilities in Pond Scum. Welcome, Ernest Philpot. Thanks, Trixie. It's an old dog. I truly honored to be here today among all you pointy and tiny It does if there's somebody inside the bathosphere, but I thought you said there wasn't anybody in the bathosphere. There's not. Then I'll just stay here. Oh, he he feels himself. He feels himself dying because you think it was you who was running out of air, not the guy in the bathosphere. What you're talking about? It's as if you two were connected somehow. Oh shit! I'll just uh, stay right here then. Hey. You ready to drop the act now, Jacques Dupont, a.k.a. Carl Sagan, a.k.a. I'm just gonna keep holding this air tube closed until you raise the bathosphere. I wish you the miracle of the Why not? There's nobody in the bathosphere, right? Emmett gets no air until you raise the bathosphere. Emmett? Emmett, you! I've said everything I could say. You know what happens when the air runs out to both of you. He's running out of air, Doc, and you're running out of time. Let Thank you, Ernest. Do be sure to drop by his booth and sample an algae cake. I have, and it was very Green. interesting. I will be back later to highlight another of our fine exhibitors. See you soon. Okay. So I'm running out of time, basically. Cool. He's running out of air, Doc. And you're running out of time. Let him out. I want to it! What am I supposed to do? Can't you see he's messing with us? There's nothing wrong with those gears. Monsieur Duteau is doing his best to fix the exhibit. Hovering over him like that doesn't help the situation any. What am I supposed to do, then? What was that? Wait a second. I saw somebody. The years, they have become unstuck. There, see? It was just a malfunction after all. What's going on? That music. Let's get you out of there. Uh, Emmett Brown? Then it was true. Oh shit. Hey, you. Hey, he just took that guy's wallet. I think he took his wallet. Oh, 
Remind me not to become an oceanographer. I guess I must have a touch of claustrophobia. Never should have gone in there. Well, we've all got problems. Now, you'd better get back to your booth Funny before thing this. is, I don't even remember going in there. Last thing I recall, I was in the glass house talking to Carl Sagan. Did you know he's really a scientist? I'd heard. What did he say to you? Oh, he had some sort of spur-of-the-moment business proposition. It was all very rush-rush, I never got the details. It would have meant leaving before the expo was over, so I told him that... Say, where'd he go? You know? Carl Sagan? He had to leave. One of his experiments blew up on him. <laughs> no. Backfired. I know how that is. Good. I got it fixed. What's this? Oh, yeah. Edna made Detective Parker shut down your booth. He says he can't go against her. Oh, yeah? Unless we dig up some dirt that'll discredit her in the eyes of the law. Oh, come on, man. So that's what we'll do. But I guess I'll go over here and talk to these fools. Oh, hello. Do you know what she made him do? Yeah, come here. Um, Edna made Parker close your booth down. I know that. So he'll only open it up again if we could find a way to discredit her. Do you know anything that'll ruin Edna's standing in town? Yes, I do. She is a rotten kisser! Oh, oh yeah, that'll help. That wasn't what I had in mind. Listen, if Carl Sagan shows up again, you're not gonna let him lead you away, are you? Are you kidding? My sole concern now is to get back up to my electrokinetic levitator. Good man. Oh yeah, that thing. Assuming we get Parker to open your booth back up before they call your name, is the levitator ready to go? I'll accept the power source. You did bring the static accumulator, didn't you? Yes, yes I, I did. I got it. You want it now? No. Wait till we get back to the booth. Edna never confessed anything to you, did she? Like what? She's on crack. Something incriminating. Like, for instance, her being the speakeasy arsonist. Edna the speakeasy arsonist? Then again, why not? But she never said anything about it to you? No. Okay. I gotta run. Did you talk some sense into those two? Oh, a Sisyphean task if ever there was one. I can't prove that she's the arsonist, oh. though. Hello, Shmirnov. Shmirnov. Excuse me. Marty! Michael! Shmirnov! Um, <laughs> I just want to talk to Detective Parker. Let's see. You know how you said you'd defy Edna if I could dig up some dirt on her? Yeah? You got some? Mm. I saw her whispering about something with Carl Sagan outside the expo yesterday. Do you know what they were whispering about? No, but she looked really guilty. I need something more solid than that, I'm afraid. Um. <sighs> you know how you said you... Yeah? You... Let's try this one. She kidnapped a friend of mine, and she tried to erase his brain. That's terrible. But when did this happen? Fifty years yeah, in the future. I, the future. Stick to the facts, kid. I have enough people come to me with cock and bull stories. All right, Thanks. all right. I'll be back. Well, I hope so. You've got to get this albatross off my neck. Well, did you put the screws to him? Did he confess? Yes. Well, somehow I have to... Oh, hello, Shmirnov. Ooh, can I now. take this? Uh -huh. Aha! Hey, don't walk off with the recording plant. It's the only one I got. Okay. So does that mean I actually need it? Um. Well, I haven't been in here yet. Let's try this place out. Welcome to the world of tomorrow, where a man's home is truly his castle. Mere gratification is just always a push of a button away. Let's see, what's here? That plant, maybe I can... This plant doesn't belong here. There's nothing futuristic about it. Oh. Oh, okay, I got it. Okay, so I can use this plant to switch out with the other one then? And then I can record something that they'll talk about, probably? I bet you that's what it is. Come here, little plant.
Just like the crystal skull. Yeah. Nothing here, officer. What? Smooth as a baby's the butt. The next exhibitor on our list is Officer Danny Parker of the Hill Valley Police Force. <laughs> officer Parker is going to demonstrate a few of the many marvelous tools that our boys in blue will soon have at their disposal. The criminal element has truly met his match today. Officer Parker? Hello. Uh, it seems our next exhibitor is unavoidably detained, but I'm sure his presentation would have been both enlightening and exciting. Um, how about a round of applause just for the heck of it? Boo. That's a shitty applause. Okay. Oh. Hello, Shmirnov. So what can I do with this recording device? Detective Parker's secret police recorder. Just like a regular potted plant, but with a recorder inside. Okay. What if I put it right here? What a weird place okay. for flowers. Call me a snoop. It's a private place. I mean, I can't go in the girls' room, so. Oh, whoa, 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 what was that? Welcome to the phone booth of the future, made with Atlas Glass. Atlas, unbreakable and soundproof. Our phone is hands-free, so you can enjoy a sandwich or a cigarette while chatting with friends in perfect privacy. Would you like to place a call? Yes, I'd like to talk to... Unfortunately, this phone booth only accepts incoming calls. KL4253, I have a feeling I'm going to have to remember that. What's that guy doing? What were you doing? Who is that? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this episode on ice. I'm pretty close to finding the dirt on Edna. I mean, I know what the dirt is, but I can't prove it unless she confesses it, and I have the potted plant to do that with. Okay, so uh, thank you so much for watching. Drop me a note in the comments and let me know what you thought of this. If you thought it was awesome, please hit like and subscribe for more videos for me. And I'll see you with you next time. But until then, stay frosty. Hello, cat. Don't lick the counter. Don't attack the cat. He's just ugly. He can't help it. I just burned the shit out of that cat. And the clock. Two cats at once. I see charred remains of the cat. I I didn't mean to do this. The furnace was supposed to be broken. <laughs>